You first want to grab a long sign from Dollar Tree. And I'm just using some white chalk paints. And I did end up doing two coats. You want to just make sure you dry the first coat before going to the second coat. And then just allow all of that to completely dry. I then got two of these foam pumpkins, also from Dollar Tree. I just took the green stem right off. And then using a sharp box cutter, I'm just going all along the middle and I'm cutting this pumpkin into two pieces. And then you wanna have a total of three of these half pieces all together. And once you have those all cut up, I'm using some of this folk art chalk paint in the color milk jug, Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and moss. These ended up taking about two coats. Again, you wanna make sure that you dry the first coat before going on to the second coat. And these are the colors that I chose from. You could paint these however you would like. And I'm sure I'm gonna get asked this, but I did paint pumpkin over the orange just because it did change the color of the original pumpkin and i just liked it so much better so once those are all dry you want to just put those aside and then i'm using folk art chalk paint in the color maui sand and i'm just doing a dry brush method over that white chalk paint so just put a small amount of the gray on your paintbrush, dab some of that excess off, and then with some light brush strokes, you want to just apply that right on and allow that to dry. And then with the foam pumpkins, I am using Waverly Antique Wax. Any kind of antique wax will do. I just brushed a little bit of the antique wax onto the pumpkins and then I just blended it with my fingers. I did that to all three. Once those are complete, I then just began hot gluing the foam pumpkins right onto the sign. Now you could do this horizontally or vertically. I decided to do it vertically. I then just picked up some of these branches from outside. I put them in the freezer overnight just to kill any bugs using my box cutter i just created a small hole on top of all three of the pumpkins applied some hot glue at the bottom of each of the branches and then just placed those branches right inside of the pumpkins and add more hot glue as needed I then grabbed some of the spanish moss also came from dollar tree applied some hot glue on the top of the pumpkins and then just place that spanish moss right on top be careful with your fingers make sure you don't get any hot glue on them and then using this buffalo check ribbon i am just creating a cute little simple bow all you have to do is just create an awareness ribbon out of this ribbon and then just tie it off with some jute string i just cut the tails in little dovetails and then just hot glue that again right at the top of each of the pumpkins and ta-da look at how adorable this came out display this however you would like i hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so so much and i hope you all have a good rest of your day thanks bye